y'all welcome to southern staples thanks for joining me today and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so and i'd love for you to invite your friends and family as well thanks so much and have a great day hi y'all welcome to southern staples kitchen today we're going to teach a southern staple kitchen basic but a quick and easy way because we don't always have the time to make a homemade pie crust even though they're great you may occasionally be like me and just want to have a shortcut now today i just happened to pick up um pie crust at my local grocery store this happens to be pillsbury brand um you can use any brand you'd like to in here you get two pie crusts and this is in the refrigerator section these aren't the frozen pie crusts that are already in the pie pan and i'll tell you why i don't choose those you'll kind of see as we go through so i've already taken the two out and you just want to unroll them as you can see they come in their own individual little plastic holders and I'm just going to roll this one out gently you have to work pretty quickly because the dough will warm up on you and here's my pot pan I already have out. Uh, this happens to be a ceramic one um, this happens to be a Calphalon ceramic but you can use a glass pot pan whatever you happen to have and you just want to gently lay this in make sure it's completely rolled out and press it gently into the sides and make sure you don't have any tear. So just take your time with it. Um, you know, you don't have to be in a hurry. Just make sure it's pressed down. And another trick to do too is to brush it. Like for instance, I'm gonna be making a peach pie with this one just so it doesn't get soggy. I like a nice crisp pie crust, especially in a fruit pie. This is just one egg that's beaten I'm just going to kind of gently brush this around. You can choose to do this or not, um, but for me, since I am going to use this pie shell, for instance, today to make a fruit-based pie, just gently, you don't have to use a whole lot, but it does help it from getting soggy later on. And it's just one more way to make that store-bought pie crust look homemade because it'll be nice golden brown on the edges because of this egg yolk. Now, another thing that I really like about using these is then we're going to take our other one and roll it out very gently. And then this, I think, is a great trick on helping you make your store-bought pie um, crust when you present your pie look like a homemade pie because you're gonna unroll this one and with a knife, you just cut the dough into strips. And this will help you make really pretty lattice work crisscrossed on the top of your pie. Okay, now you see where I had been cutting my lattice work dough strips on this. I have now transferred them, just crisscrossing them. So I did this first layer across, and then after that, I went in the opposite direction. And then I've taken a little bit more of that egg that we put on the bottom crust. I've coated that on these, and that'll give it a nice golden brown, crispy look to it, which will make it look even more homemade, even though, again, we're just using this store-bought pie crust. And then just go around with a fork, and when you do your lattice work, make sure your edges are pressed down with that bottom pie crust. And then I like this because it just gives it that finished touch of maybe what your grandmother's pie used to look like when she would make it. And there you have it. Inside this pie is actually a peach pie filling. Watch my other video and I'll tell you exactly how to make the filling that you see right here which is a wonderful peach pie filling. But you can use this store-bought pie crust, like I said, for any pie. It's just a great short shortcut for you. And it's a time saver, and we all love one of those. So anyway, thanks for tuning in today. If you haven't subscribed already to Southern Staples, please do so and share with your friends and family. And I hope you enjoy this little tutorial on a short, easy, quick shortcut on a store-bought pie crust. Thanks.